Okay, and we're back. And you can, you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, photos. So I have all eight photos. I need to go in here and remember, we double click on the, um, the last one here and that allows us to go in here and edit. Now, if you were not able to go down, all you do is you click inside of it and then you press the down arrow on your keyboard. You can see that lets me go down there. I've, I forgot to give credit to photo seven, so I had to go look it up again. So photo, photo seven, and then I'm going to paste that in the description. Okay, so I have all of the photos credited in my presentation. And if I press the down arrow on my keyboard, you can see I still have some of these descriptions, name and description. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those, uh, select them and delete those. And that's all we have now are just the photo credits here. So press the check mark up here. And now let me just check that here. Let me just go my, take my mouse and just go across there. Yep, that shows all eight photos and the credit for each one. Okay, so let's just check off where we're at here. We have a title slide. Good. Volcano facts. We have all these images. Look at them. I'm just scrolling across them. Oh, they look good. Now, for the most part, the Ken Burns uh, artificial intelligence inside of your iMovie is going, going to try to do the best job it thinks that you want to do with these photos. Um, but let's go ahead and just really just check this. So I'm going to uh, select this first clip here. And as I go in here, so if I take my mouse up here to the top and I go to cropping, you can see that I have the Ken Burns turned on. And it gives you two points here. It gives start and then end. So you can see here, it starts on the wide shot with the most max uh, of, the, of the image shown. But you see I've got a little thing down here called Getty Images at the bottom. So I don't really want to show that. So I want to bring that in just a little bit. So now that's that's gone now. Okay, so I'm just doing a little editing. So then I can tap on the word end here, or click on the word end, and now I can move this around. So I notice it kind of, let's just push in a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna make that smaller. So you see, it's gonna start with a wide shot and end, it's like zooming in. This is, see, this is the effect that's happening right here. It's zooming in. So I'm, I can press play on that. Oops, let's go back to the one we have. Uh, go to start, and then I hit play. Okay, so it's zooming in nice and slow. Okay, so that that's looking good. If you were to zoom in too much during those four seconds of the, let me grab the corner of this, sorry, grab this corner. If I was to zoom in really tight, like say on these people down here, okay, uh, if we go to play that, it's going to go, because so you're, what you're doing is you're going, something is happening within four seconds. Now, it's, it can either happen really fast, really slow, depending on how much changes. So we're going from a big wide shot to a really tight shot, and that is only happening in four seconds, so it's gonna be very, very quick. Ooh, zoom in, and we're in. So it depends now on how long our narrations are going to be. So that's why I don't really want you to get necessarily into editing these effects just yet. Let's put our narrations in in the next video. We're gonna add our narrations and then we're gonna work on the Ken Burns effect to make sure that they're appropriate for what we're saying and that the imagery that we're trying to get across to our viewers so they understand what we're saying with this powerful imagery by using the Ken Burns effect, okay? So let's come back, we're gonna add our narration and then we're gonna edit our Ken Burns effects, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Actually, a few seconds.